Hello everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Nub Raids, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Summon Rush event that is happening as the first part, or one of the first parts, of the White Queen and Korra fusion. I just did a video on the whole uh, fragment plan, right, the whole calendar for this event, and the big twist, of course, from that was, uh, let me see, oh wait, these are my, this is my thumbnail, never mind, uh, I don't have it open, uh, I could whip it open real fast, hang on, hang on a sec, where were we, That's, there we go, this is... Behind the scenes in Photoshop, magic, look at all this. Here we go. This is where we do it. But yeah, there's a hero's path in here. And one of the big takeaways we were looking at was you might want to skip 10 fragments of this summon rush, right? To plan to do all the hero's path. Or if the summon rush is real good, you could do all 15 and then have the option of skipping a big part of the hero's path. Um, that's the question we want to look at today. We're also, by the way, stay tuned. I will actually... Uh, convert my fragments here and get High Mother Maud or Maude or whatever she's called. I can't remember. Uh, I did finish the Fatalis thing uh, for better or for worse. We've got it done. So, hey, there we go. Well, this is it. Here it is. These are the champions that are part of the Summon Rush this weekend. So it's up for 72 hours. So for the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from February the 9th, that's tomorrow. Uh, it is progressive chance. You know, they love these. When is it not a progressive chance? Is there is there one in game right now? Ah, I mean, like there's one in game right now, right? <laughs> We're just back to back. They're nonstop. You can't get away from them. I also have got so many things open now on my PC. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the big one from this, the the big draw is definitely the Nergigante Archer. I still don't know. How, I still need to actually sit down and watch a Monster Hunter video to figure out how you're supposed to say these names. But yeah, the Nergigante Archer, she is the big one that's up for grabs here. Of course, the big question on everyone's mind, since we had this surprise, uh, I guess it, the Deck of Fate's gone because I did it. But since we had the surprise fragment Deck of Fate for Fatalis Blademaster, which we were explicitly not told about before, um, we have been explicitly not told about any sort of guaranteed event for the Nergigante Archer, right? Specifically, that hasn't been mentioned at all. But, I mean, Fatalis came out of nowhere. There was one for him. There could be, right? This uh, Monster Hunter collaboration is on until the 5th of March. We have almost a month. I think it's... This is sort of what I would expect is the Archer is, is considered to be the best of the Monster Hunter champions by everybody. Well, not everyone. By most people, it seems like. Um, he seems like the most likely one. I feel like they'll do one, maybe two more sort of general summon events for this. And then there's like, I don't know, a 50-50, I feel, that there could be a guaranteed event for her uh, at the end. Now, I would expect it to be absolutely brutal, right? It could be, a, if you thought uh, Electrion Blademaster was tough in terms of the champ training, I think she would be worse. Could be a crazy amount of shards required. I don't know. I don't know. But I could easily see her come in and be super expensive, right? um easily 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 because she is such a wanted champion uh so yeah that is something to consider you could pull a lot of shards right now hunting for her but you might need shards there could be within a month a guaranteed event for her involving shards i think that's really something to consider i don't know what to tell you i don't know what the right answer is um but let's take a look lady kimmy kimmy's also good i would say ugir is a skip he was a recent fusion I would actually just straight up say no to Ugir. I wouldn't do it. Um, Supreme Kale. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know about those. Again, I would say Samson is okay as a HP nuker. I would say that probably Fatalis Blademaster is a bit better than Samson as a HP nuker, I think, with his passive. Uh, Samson's not bad, though. He's got a good passive, too. He can counterattack and stun. He's not bad. Now, Archbishop Pinthroy is also a decent champion for Hydra at block buffs and, like, supporting your team with, with shields and healing and buffs. He's not bad. Uh, then, honestly, I probably... I'm going to put a small red dot of being like, I wouldn't be too keen on pulling for either of these voids. I think both voids are pretty poor. Talgron the Conjoined and Supreme Kale, in my opinion, are both fairly underwhelming. Uh, I do have a Supreme Kale and have yet to find a real use for him. He's fine for some Cursed City stuff. I personally wouldn't rate him this highly, though. I don't know like maybe he'll scale a bit better actually with the new blessings right he's uh, he yeah maybe maybe um the defensive stats would be nice on him i don't know he doesn't need the accuracy he's not he's not too impactful honestly like i said mine is still sitting in the vault there's nothing he's jumping out as being like this is a must build champion 
Same thing with Togren the Conjoined. He can, you know, permanently boost up your max HP, which is, I guess, the only way to make max HP damage scale up, which is, is kind of cool. Oh, sorry, HP-based damage scale up, which is kind of cool, right? You've got increased attack and increased defense uh, for attack and defense nukers. No HP boost. This is kind of a way to do it. Again, yeah, it's sort of mediocre. I, I would not be pulling for this guy, basically. So I'm in a bit of an awkward spot where, for me, on my account, um, I have six sacreds, right? Super low. We've got ancients, but they are just not good for uh, summon rush, really. They give you very low value. Primal shards are okay, but again, I would really prioritize saving primal shards where possible for 2x mythical. Um, so yeah, void shards uh, is probably the way I'm going to do it. And void shards, honestly, are looking pretty poor. In terms of the epics, Bod Breastfeeder, he's great. Um, <laughs> Pestilus, not great, but okay. Maybe again, more for Cursed City. Ethelin the Golden is a good early game nuker, and I don't like Isla Life, life Raid at all. So again, I feel like the epics, definitely for me, the, the best one for sure to lock in would be Claude. I think Claude's actually great. Really, really good champ. Um, I use him actually in Iron Twins, right? Increase accuracy, he brings you shielding. He's actually a really good clan boss champion. Uh, he's good for some of the Cursed City stages, right? Good shielder for the, the Scarab boss and all of that. Claude is good. Uh, Pestilus is okay. I think Ethelin is quite decent, and I would not go for Isla. Uh, it's sort of my thoughts on that. I think she's rubbish, personally. Um, so yeah, um, it's a bit awkward for me. Like, the voids, I'm like, I really don't want them. I have an Ethelin, actually. I, I don't want any of these voids. So I'm pretty sure now, looking at this, I am going to do, like, the minimal void pulls and pray I don't, you know, waste a, a legendary pull. Pray it doesn't trigger on one of these guys, because I really don't want them. I'd obviously put in Togron because I don't have a Supreme Kale. Um, if you don't have either, I I feel like it's a bit of a tough toss-up. I think probably I'd go for Supreme Kale over Togron, uh, but hard to know. Yeah, I'd probably go with Supreme Kale, though, personally. I'd pick him first over Togron. I'm going to put in Togron because, hey, look, he's he's something I don't have. I, I think I might even have two Supreme Kales. Do I? Lost track. I think I do. I've got two Supreme Kales. Well, I'm not putting in another one, then. I mean, I could empower him, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that. Togron would be new. That'd be more interesting. That's likely what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it's a bit of a mixed summon rush, right? I think the big draw is definitely going near Gigantic Archer. And I think that could be your, your approach would be going, okay, I will skip this hero's path and I will just max out summon rush hunting for near Gigantic Archer. Personally, I'm not too keen on that, right? Because we don't know if there's going to be a guarantee for her before this ends. Kind of a 15x progressive chance just isn't really that good. And this hero's path could have other good rewards in it. So my thoughts, honestly, I'm pretty happy. Pull a few voids and greens and stuff. Get the five fragments for summon rush and then get out. Leave this progressive chance behind. Move on. Uh, I'm, I'm going to focus on stockpiling up for the hero's path. That's, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, there we go. Let's check out the fragment summon. So I did this on the test server. Let's do it here again. So we can obviously exchange all fragments that we can no longer use. This is going to give us some stuff. Loriaka should give us a good few. Yeah, big chunk right there. We can exchange Wuji. Uh, cannot cash in, obviously, Quintus and Searsha. We're still working on those. Drakul gives us another chunk. The epics are not worth that many chests, but they give you some. Let's uh, put these all in. I had a few more on the test server because I was able to, like, Put in one of the 100 fragment things that I'd done. Like, could I cash in Fatalis? No. And that's good. I think that would be very annoying if you accidentally cashed in like 100 fragments and you lost out an entire legendary. You might want to do that for some crazy whales or krakens, but I think most people, that would be an absolute disaster and it'd be a horrible button to press. Uh, so you wouldn't want to do it. Burgot the Malformed. I can cash in his stuff. I'm not sure why he's here in the fragment list. That seems like a bug. No, he's gone. Okay, great. So I think one really nice thing about this, this fragment portal has been beautifully cleaned up. It looks so much better now. <laughs> there we go. Chronam is still there, right? He's, a you know, the permanent referral reward. I guess if they ever remove that, he will disappear. I've, I've not done it. Maybe I should at some point. It's just a lot of, a lot of hassle, honestly. We've got White Queen, Deirdre Quintus, and then Fatalis I just got. And obviously High Mother Maud or Maude or whatever they say. Here we go. We looked at this before. Um, no, okay, this info tab. So this is how it can drop. You can open 10 chests per week. I've got four weeks worth of chests to open up. 
and it can contain this many. Let's open one of my four here. Here we go. We've got 10. Uh, we got three fragments, right? <laughs> three fragments. So if I multiply my three fragments by four to get our total, I'd have 12. Um, I think this is worse than it was for me on the test server. I think I got like five on the test server. I don't know. I've got three High Mother Maude fragments. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm never getting this champion. Never getting her. It's just not happening. So I, I wasn't even paying attention to the other stuff we got, but I guess that's the way to look at it, right? Is, you know, she's something to slowly work towards, but, you know, sort of expect. Probably never going to get her unless you're bigger whale or kraken or like a really hardcore player and you really have got particularly a lot of extra legendary fragments i think it's just not going to happen and like is it worth for example white queen and cora going really hard on the summon rush again i think not for the small amount of fragments towards maud that you're going to get or maude is that worth giving up a bunch of shards for summoning events when there are like i said constant summoning events and guaranteed events and events giving souls and all this stuff i just don't see it as being worthwhile i think she's a good champion i actually think she's a great champion i'd love to have her but the amount of work you got to go through to get her i'm really not convinced at all um so my advice my thought is just like mostly expect you're not going to get her and just look at it as going okay you know what well for my old fragments that were previously sitting there being absolutely useless doing nothing well now i can cash them in that's fine. And I get a few extra little bits. Okay, cool. That's great. Great, cool. I'll get a few extra bits. Maybe, you know, they'll up the fragments or something in the future. Uh, they'll give you more ways to get some of these or something. I don't know. And you can eventually get her, maybe. Um, but don't worry about it too much. It's cleaning up your portal. You're getting a few little extra rewards. It's kind of not a big deal. It's kind of how I'm looking at it. And just saying, yeah, forget about her, <laughs> right? Forget about it. Unless you've got tons and tons of fragments. Just, just move on. And I, I don't really feel, at least right now, I don't feel like it's worth uh, chasing extra fragments to try to get this champ. I think she's so hard to get. And there's power creep in the game. You know, I, is, is there just any point? Like, by the time you get her, will you even still be playing? You know, will there be just way better champions? Will she be totally irrelevant? Uh, yeah, I just feel like, forget about it, honestly. And there you go. So that is what's coming up. Again, let me know what are your plans for this because I think this is a really spicy one. Now that you know uh, what uh, champions are coming up in the summon rush, what do you think? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say apart from Nerd Gigante and Lady Kimmy is good. Apart from that, it's a pretty underwhelming. I would say it's a pretty bad summon rush, isn't it? I, I think it's pretty weak compared to the ones we normally have. There, there's very few. Like Nerd Gigante is really the only like S plus tier or s tier i say kimmy is like sort of s minus maybe kimmy's great and i'm like you got good champions but nothing that's like typically a i need to hunt them down uh sort of champ it, it feels like it's kind of a filler type event um anyway there we go curious about your thoughts thank you for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye